Hello, everybody. It's Pam, and welcome to Tiger in the Kitchen. Today, one of the most requested, a very popular Thai street snack, roti. And I'm going to be showing you the three most common ways you can make, which are the classic egg roti and the most favorable banana roti. All of the three styles, we are using the same dough. So let's get started with the dough. We need wheat flour. sugar, salt, vegetable oil, an egg, milk, or you can use water as well if you want. The texture with milk will be a little more mellow. Salted butter or unsalted if you want it less salty. This is already in room temperature and ready to use. Most of the shops will use margarine, which you know, we better use better and a good oil. And that's it for the dough ingredients. No baking powder, no yeast, very simple. Now we're gonna mix, put one tablespoon sugar, a teaspoon of salt, crack an egg, I'm just gonna mix a bit first and you can use the whisk or fork, whatever you like. I might look a little weird using the spoon, but it works. Follow with one tablespoon vegetable oil and 200 ml of milk. Keep stirring to dissolve sugar and salt. Add 400 gram of wheat flour. And we can start off mixing with the spoon first because I'm telling you, this dough will be quite sticky. Alright, time to use the hand. We're going to be using hands a lot, so make sure to clean your hands nicely. Keep mixing then knead. It will take a while, just keep kneading until the dough doesn't stick on your hand much anymore. The Thai roti is on the way. Oh yeah, the reason why it is referred as Thai roti is because, you know, roti in different country is a little different. This one is very popular among tourists and locals, especially the banana roti, which is my favorite too. Okay, back on the dough. Once it stops sticking to your hand, you can stop kneading because if you go too far, it will just be more compact and we still need the flexibility from the dough. We're gonna give it a rest for about an hour. Let the gluten work so we have a relaxed dough. Don't forget to give it a bingy. Okay, have some rest. A few moments later. And the dough has been rested for an hour. Now it's time to divide into smaller balls. But first, lubricate the container with butter or oil to prevent them from sticking. And yes, you can use either the brush or just your hands. Then the size of the balls depend on the size of the pan you're using. You can weight them individually or just do the same as me. Use the filling. Okay. My dough will not be as big as what they normally use at the shops because look at the size of their pans. We can just do it in the biggest flat pan we have in the kitchen. Put the butter on each ball, be generous with it. And same as any dough when you want the ball shape, we keep folding and folding and folding and finishing with pinching the bottom. For roti dough, we want to do it just a few times because the more we fold, the more the gluten is tightened. And remember, we want to stretch it later, so leave some room for flexibility. And don't forget to apply the oil or butter all the time. Okay, now we want to rest it for at least another half an hour. Mm -hmm. 
for the toppings, I'd say go to town with it. The more toppings, the more yummy. And roti is not a diet snack. We need a banana for the banana roti, an egg for egg roti, chocolate syrup, condensed milk, and I'm even gonna sprinkle sugar on top. Mm, yummy. So start with the classic. Again, apply the oil or butter on the tray or any non-stick surface so the dough won't stick. You can even do it on a cutting board or on a counter. Try to stretch the dough, start with pushing the middle and gently expand it out. For the classic one, in this part we want to stretch as much as possible and don't worry if it breaks or there are some holes because we want to do this next. Pick up any corner, pull it, then place and go around. Now it looks kind of like a rose, then press and expand again. For this version, we need some air in the dough and I'll show you after how to make it fluffy inside. Pour some vegetable oil. The more you put, the more crispy it gets. You can add a bit more than this, but I'm good with this amount. Once the oil warms up, place the dough. Leave it for a few minutes. Then flip. And this is when the more flavor is added. Put about one teaspoon of butter under. And leave it for another couple minutes. To make it airy inside, we're gonna slap it. Go to town, friends, as if you're slapping a mosquito. Top with condensed milk. And a sprinkle of sugar on top so you'll get some crunchy texture as well. And that's it for the classic version. Moving on to the egg roti. Almost the same method. Apply some oil or butter on the surface. This time, I'm adding the oil on the dough as well for easier stretching. Go as far as possible as long as it fits your pan. Place on the pan. Once the dough is set a little bit, about a half minute, crack the egg in. Beat the egg and spread all over the roti. You can beat before putting on top of the dough as well. Anything convenient for you. Once the egg starts to cook, fold the dough from the four sides. Don't wait too long because once the dough is more cooked, it will be a little harder to fold. And don't forget the butter. Top with condensed milk and sugar again, and that's for egg roti. Now we're gonna be moving on to the last one, the most favorable at all time, banana roti. Grab the banana, slice, slice, slice. This time with the dough, I'm gonna try to swing it like how they do at the shops. Let's see how Pammy goes. Hey ja. That's a combo. Not too bad. There you go. Oh, come on, man. <laughs> Let's just stretch it like this for now. Put on the pan. Place the sliced banana on top. Leave some space around for folding too.
some butter. Flip. And more butter. Gonna cut it into three by three. For banana roti, I love the chocolate syrup. And even more banana. Why not? You can also use condensed milk. Normally it's served like that. You pay more for chocolate syrup. So let me know in the comment which version is your favorite. And if you like this video, don't forget to leave a thumb up. Have a day as sweet as this roti. See you again next recipes. Bye.